Hey everyone, welcome back to DevOps Unlocked. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning about the VARS prompt feature in Ansible. And so what it does is it allows for flexibility within your playbooks. So rather than just spewing a bunch of information, let's just get started and build out a playbook demonstrating VARS prompt. So treat this step as optional, but if you want a multitude of cryptography schemes, you can install the Python pass lib on your control node. However, in this demo, we're actually going to use the SHA-512 cryptography scheme, and that comes default or built into Python. So I just did the install here real quick. You can, you can see on a Ubuntu machine, it's just sudo app-get install python-passlib. So now that we have this, uh, let's begin building out this playbook. Okay, so we'll begin with the three dashes and then we'll do dash host colon all. Next line, we're gonna select gather facts and set that to false. I don't need any information on the OS as part of this playbook run. Become I will set to true because I need pseudo privileges. And then here is where I'll begin building out VARS prompt. So the first variable I will set uh, and I will name it as var user comment. So I'm gonna use this to add a user and I will need to put in a comment for this username. Private, I'm gonna set to no, and I set that to no so I can see what is displayed on my screen at the time of input. Prompt, this is just what the message uh, will actually per, uh, be presented. So I'll just say enter the user's first and last name. And we can move on to the second variable, which I will set to var username. Private, I will also put no, because I would like to see the username as I am inputting it. And then prompt, you know, something like enter the username for the user. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then the third variable, I will actually set this to be the password. And I'm just doing a hashtag variable, commenting variable here, just for uh, maybe additional clarity. Private, I will set to yes, because I do not want the password shown as part of the input. Prompt, you know, for this demo, I'm gonna just enter the user's password. And I'm just going to change some things here. So encrypt, I will set to the SHA-512 cryptography scheme, as I mentioned earlier. For confirm, I will type yes. So you'll just have to input your password twice. And then salt size, I'm going to set to seven. By default, it's eight. But, you know, just for demo purposes, eh, seven, why not? And so the next step is to build out the task in which we will add the user. And what we can demonstrate as part of this is we'll insert the variables where we would typically have something, say, hard-coded as part of the playbook. So I'll start with task and do a dash name, and I'll do adding the user, and then here's where I'll, uh, surrounded by quotes and in between double curly brackets, I will put the variable and then we'll call the user module and we will set the name to be the var username and we'll put the comment in you know this is the first variable we entered so we'll set that to var user comment next we're gonna set the shell uh, bin bash just to keep things simple although you could obviously select different shells if that's your preference and then password you know very similar to the others, you know, var password. And just to keep things simple, I think I'll stop here and we can then execute the playbook. Okay, so if we get started, we'll begin with ansible-playbook and then the name of the playbook, add any user, do my demo inventory file and then do a dash K and lowercase K for just some added options. And then here, we're now presented with the prompts that we had created. So I'll enter the user's first and last name, being Peach Strawberry. 
I'll set the username to just his first initial last name and then I'll just type a random password here and yeah hitting enter see we just added this user locally and it was successful and another way we could reimagine this playbook is using it to deploy a package so I already typed out a couple things here on my screen uh, so pause this video and take a look at my vars prompt I just created a variable called variable underscore package and I'm just going to ask for the user to enter the package name and so what we'll do with the task here is we'll call the apt module because I am running this on a Ubuntu machine and we can just specify some added options and I can demonstrate what it would be like to deploy an ad hoc package to an environment you know on a case by case basis. Uh, a good example of this would be if you know you're a system administrator you know managing a dev environment and you know they may be calling upon you to install you know packages uh, you know every so often uh, you know in order to get to their desired environment so this would be a perfect use case for this so let's begin running the playbook using ansible dash playbook we'll call this new playbook add any package select our demo inventory file go through our options here for the package name I'll enter htop that's my go-to and it looks like that was successful so invoking htop you know demonstrate that it is installed on my local machine and that concludes this video one of the biggest takeaways is that the vars prompt offers flexibility within your playbooks. And so flexibility is key when building out dev environments or managing just computing environments in general. So with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it would mean a lot. Also, feel free to drop a comment or send me a message on Twitter if you have any questions or if you would like to see something different. Thanks and take care.